the second part of your lesson with printmaking. So what you should have now in your sketchbook is a detailed drawing of a piece of bark or a twig or a branch, some, some piece of wood that you've really paid attention to the piece of wood and given a lot of detail using thin and thick lines to recreate what you see. So now you're going to pick one area that you really, really like from your drawing. So what you're gonna do, not yet, but when Mr. Barber gives the okay in class, is use a toilet paper tube and trace around it, trace an area that you really like of your drawing. So pretty much you go around and you find an area that you think looks really interesting and has a lot of diversity in line width. So a lot of thin lines and a lot of thick lines. There's a bunch of cool stuff going on. So then you put down your toilet paper tube and you trace around the area that you want to copy or use rather, you'll see how you use it. So you trace around that toilet paper tube. And for sake of this video to allow you to see, I'm going to go over that circle with Sharpie so it's clear for you to understand what space I chose or what part of my drawing I chose to use. Okay. So here's the part of drawing, the part of the drawing that I want to recreate. So the next step is you're going to blow this up, this little circle. And what I mean by blow up is draw it a lot bigger. So after you've done this, Mr. Barber will hand out uh, worksheets where you try to recreate what is in the circle, large scale, on this piece of paper. First, you'll try it out lightly, lightly, lightly with pencil. And then once Mr. Barber has been able to come around and look at it, then you can go back through with a marker and kind of cement or solidify and finish, finish the drawing. So I'll take you through a brief demo. All right, so I'm going to try and recreate this space right here on this large paper. So you're going to need a pencil to do that, obviously. So I'm just going to grab one and start trying to recreate what I see. Um, I'm going to start with the center line because it will kind of help me divide the paper up to scale. So it's kind of like right there. Then I see this little arch. Uh, that's kind of like halfway through the circle. So it starts kind of right here and comes down. I'm gonna do this line. So notice I'm not being all super fancy about this. I'm really just trying to get the shapes down that I see. This spot's kind of colored in. I'm doing this spot. Doing this line. That's colored in. And then here we kind of got a rough edge. These are white spaces that I see. up and over. I'm going to draw this line. That line. This dark spot. There's like an opening right there. This is all colored in. I'm just scribbling it so I know that I need to color it in eventually. That part's colored in. And there's a little line right here. 
So it's messy, but that's kind of what the circle that I picked out looks like. At this point, once you've kind of figured out where everything goes and you've made sure to at least scribble in the outlines of spaces that you know need to be colored in, you can let Mr. Barber know and he can give you a marker, a washable marker, maybe black, may not, to where you can kind of go in and um, make this look a little more like this. So I'll show you that quickly here. So now you have a replica of your worksheet drawing onto your styrofoam plate that you'll eventually use for your stamp or your printmaking. Uh, notice in the video how I kind of traced what I had already done to help me sort of make sure that I was putting everything in the right spot. It's not foolproof, but you should be able to see through your styrofoam plate enough to kind of get everything in the right spot at least. So that is the end of this lesson. You will be ready to move on with turning this into a stamp next time. And just good job. Proud of you. You got all of this really beautiful abstract work. From All of it was sourced from your original wood drawing. Good job.